Hey guys, it's Astrid again, and today we will be reviewing the newest episode of Boku Dakegai Inayamachi, which is also known as Erased, episode 11. So, oh my god, like, this episode was, was like, oh my god, this was really interesting to see, like, everything that happened. So, um, my prediction was the previous episode that, like, he would come back in a way that wasn't revival, like, he wouldn't go back in time. And it, it appears that I, w I was right. So, yeah, um, he didn't die. Well, because, like, honestly, when I first saw, like, um, the opening, and then, like, um, he wasn't there in the opening, and that was like, oh, my God, did he die? And I was like, no. And then I was so scared. And then um, we saw that, um, what, what, so we saw that um, he didn't die, and, Apparently he was in a coma for 15 years, which was pretty gee like oh my god. Like my question is how did he get out? Like how did he get out of that like situation? He was stuck, you know, like I don't know what happened. So yeah. Um wait, but before I mention that, um um the teacher, um, Yashiro, he is like pretty dang like um, in the beginning, like the first, like I believe, first two minutes of the episode, we see him. He talks about um, a girl who had um, a bunch of hamsters, like they've all bred each other, and then like she had too many and she didn't know what to do. So he decided to take them, and then he got a, a wine bottle and I think he filled it with water and he drowned them in it. And I'm like, dang! And then like only out of all of them, one of them survives and. He ends up calling it spice or something, and he uses and and he uses that um, analogy like he, like he represents spice as um Satoru, and like he said like something about like spider's web something like I didn't understand that like he says that like um he he uses like that thing um as a way to kill like the people I don't know like I don't like he just like he's on his own thing. Stuff like that, and I'm like, okay, like, he needs to chill. Like, but why does it have to be girls? Like, I mean, I mean, it can be like, why children? Like, and why, why, like, why was that concept even? Like, uh, like, what brought that like into your head? Um, so moving on, as I said, he has been in a coma for 15 years. And then, oh my god, uh, my friend is texting, I'll, I'll hold, hold on. Okay, I am back. As you can see, if you like didn't hear that, it was, um, my friend was video chatting me. So, um, yeah, I could, I obviously couldn't do it right now because I need to do a review for um, Boku Dake. So um, back to what I was saying. I believe I was talking about um, how, what was I talking about? Okay, so he's been in a coma for 15 years. That was like, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna start from there. And um, honestly, I honestly thought that, um, cause when I saw the mother in the beginning of the episode, she was working at some like supermarket and stuff. Cause I thought she was like a news reporter. So I was thinking like, um, because, um, cause I like that, um, and before I mention this, I'm just, um, this is the time when I was assuming that he had died, um, in the beginning of the episode. So, um, I was thinking that maybe that since Satoru died, he messed up like the whole timeline and he like, he never existed at one point, but then we, we saw that he was actually alive, but he was in a coma. So, um, yeah, um, let's see, um, then um he was like he was going into rehab he was learning how to walk better and stuff and we see a new character and it's a girl and she um she needs like um her sister's bone marrow and it will make her better as like that's what she says and stuff so and like Satoru is like giving her like pep talk like hey you can do this nothing bad's gonna happen and stuff like that then um while he's giving her that advice there's like these photographers have the nerve to call him a pedophile because he's talking with a child like bruh 
you don't know any anything he's been going through and then you just call him out like that like please and then obviously we see a person we don't see his face just yet he he like get, grabs the film and then like just like spins it like he like opens it up and then he's like get like leave and then like you wouldn't it's like it's obviously the sensei right and then he introduces himself as the sensei and apparently he got married and he's becoming like a politician or something and I'm, I'm like oh my god <sighs> and then um yeah um oh how can I, I I almost forgot um like um Kayo um so Kayo married um the Hiromi person the Sugata um Hiromi Sugata and um wait before I mention that I am so out of place okay okay let me talk from the beginning so um Kenya um Kenya and um Hiromi visited um um Satoru and like they got to know each other like oh what's been going on throughout like the whole time and all this stuff and then like um then um Kayo sees um what's his name Satoru like they talk and like it's so it was so sweet like he he was crying when he saw her and she has a baby and everything oh my god I'm just saying I'm being honest they they were they looked like Satoru and Kayo um fit better in my opinion I they shouldn't he shouldn't have she um shouldn't have married um Hiromi just saying they look much better I thought it was Satoru and Kayo but apparently not you would assume that the person that she least like talked to would be the one that she married like they barely talk to each other and then all of a sudden they get married in the like 15 years later like well, why it was supposed to be Satoru, not Hiromi, the Hishi guy. Honestly, I thought he was a, a girl, but he's a guy, and I'm like, what? Huh. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then we see Satoru. Um, he's going to visit the girl because apparently her, um, I believe her surgery was the like the day after. So he wanted to visit her and like say like, oh, like everything's gonna be fine like that, like a good person would. Then, out of everybody, he has to see the sensei person, that like Yashiro. And then, like, um, he's like, oh, she's um, sleeping and stuff. So, I, don't, I think she said that, like, she's not there or, like, she's sleeping and stuff. And, like, my predictions on that is that, like, I feel like Satoru is, um, no, not Satoru, um, the sensei, he's going to kill her for some reason. Like, I just have that feeling. Like, it will be really subtle and then, like, nobody will notice. And then, like, Satoru will be trying to expose this boy and then, like... Um, something bad will happen. So, um, as I was saying about the, um, what happened? So, like, um, I feel like this, yeah, the teacher's gonna, like, poison her or something. Like, when he said that she was asleep, I feel like he poisoned her at that moment or did something bad to her that would result in her dying. She could die that day or she could die during her, um, surgery. That's what I feel like. So, um... Yeah, and then at the end of the episode, we see Satoru and Yashiro go inside an elevator that leads to the roof. And apparently, it's restricted access. If you're going to talk to somebody, why would you need to talk to them in a place that is, has restricted access and only allowed for certain people? But I feel like he, he had access to that because... He was acquaintances with the director, so something seems like fishy, like all that stuff. Like I feel like, um, since he was acquaintances with the director, they hold, they set up the whole thing. He was supposed to go to that specific hospital, all of that. So he's been keeping like tabs on um, Satoru in terms of his condition. That's how I feel like they had to have met each other at that time. Cause like, yeah, it seems like it was, it, it seems all set. So, yeah. And then like, at the end of the episode, like you see like, what he did in the last episode, like the tapping and all that other stuff. And then, once they make it to the rooftop, like, Sat um, Yashiro was just talking to himself and stuff. And then like, Satoru just says like, hey, um, hey, um, I have all my memories back. And then Yashiro's like, what? And then like, yeah, the episode is over. Like. Oh my god. Like, Boku Dake is amazing. Jesus. <sighs> Such a good show. 
And like the the way all of that happened was just perfect. Like I can't even I don't even know what's gonna happen next episode. I can't even predict because of the fact like the way this whole thing has been like turned like way. Oh my god. So um yeah, um I believe that's it for the review. There's nothing else to mention, right? Um But yeah, like is he not gonna be in the opening anymore? Or because that he's been introduced now, he's gonna look like that old thing. Like he's so like skinny and everything. Like oh my god, he's so sick. So as I said, it's the end of the review. And if you enjoy, please feel for please feel free to subscribe. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next video. I'll be making um, hide to Gensel no Grimgar. I have that ready. So or maybe no hide to Gensel no Grimgar will come before this then you'll see this okay so um bye